Hi, I'm Cindy with Air Science Resources, and today we're speaking with Marcella Yant. She is a deep space planetary senior research scientist at Lockheed Martin. Um, so I'm Marcella Yant, and I am a senior planetary research scientist at Lockheed Martin in Littleton, Colorado. Prior to this, I was a postdoc a scholar at Johns Hopkins University working for a NASA team and I did my um, PhD at Stony Brook University on Long Island where I got a degree in geosciences in 2017. Um, so I work in mission development in deep space exploration figuring out the best science objectives and the instruments to achieve those objectives for future missions. I work with a wide range of people. Uh, internally at Lockheed, I work mostly with engineers and I try to bridge the gap between science and engineering. If we modify a design or instrument, how will that impact the science information that we acquire? Uh, does it increase or decrease our return for the community? Um, I also collaborate with scientists at universities that are mission PIs, and I get integrated into the science team with a range of experts, mostly from universities. These collaborations can last on the scale of decades. Uh, so I just started at Lockheed a year ago, but uh, these types of missions are gonna go on for a really long time. Uh, mission development needs to start years before a proposal will be submitted, and then building and testing the spacecraft will take uh, time. Then you have the crews to the target, the science return, and potentially sample return. Um, so it's a very long and exciting event. And one of my favorite things is that every day is different. I work on a range of missions, a range of targets with a range of people. It's never the same. <laughs> um, and so one of our uh, most recent missions was the OSIRIS-REx sampling event. Uh, you can see OSIRIS-REx in my background here, <laughs> if I move. Um, and so they'll be returning a sample from the asteroid Bennu in September of 2023. Um, we built the spacecraft as well as designed the sampling mechanism in-house at Lockheed Martin. And um, with moving to industry, I spend a lot less time in the lab, um, but I'm still encouraged to write science proposals and pursue independent research. I still attend a lot of conferences, just as I did as a student and as a postdoc, and I stay connected with the planetary and geology communities. Um, so I've, I've always been interested in space, um, but I never thought of it as something I could have a career in. Being an astronaut seemed like a far-fetched childhood dream. Uh, I always knew I loved science, and I started off as a biochemistry major in undergrad. I took a geology course my freshman year, earthquakes and volcanoes, which I followed with a field course in the Sierra Nevadas. I knew instantly that geology was my passion. I had just never had exposure to it. And then when I found out I could apply this subject to other planets, I was hooked. Um, I changed my major to a dual degree in biology and geology on the flight back from the Sierra Nevadas. And my university didn't have any courses in planetary geology. So I was encouraged to apply to grad school for the specialty, uh, which was another consideration I hadn't really had in mind. I really didn't consider going to grad school. Um, but I went to Stony Brook University on Long Island, where I was a grad student under the advice of Deanne Rogers, and I was a collaborative effort between several professors. And this was actually really crucial to getting me to where I am now. Um, there was always someone not only willing, but happy to collaborate and teach me a new tool or provide me with new information. Um, I learned an incredible amount in a variety of different techniques, methods, and topics. I um, worked in many different labs, experimental petrology, vibrational spectroscopy, chemistry, and computer labs, as well as in the field. Um, after I graduated from Stony Brook, I went on as a postdoc at Johns Hopkins as part of a NASA survey team, Project Espresso. And um, if you don't know what survey is, it's um, the Solar System Exploration Research Virtual Institute. 
uh, which brings together scientists from all over the country. Again, this was a collaborative effort, this time between two mentors at Johns Hopkins. Uh, I conducted research in Sarah Hurst's Planetary Haze Atmospheric Chemistry Lab and Kevin Lewis's Planetary Surfaces Lab. Um, I also did field work with the PI of the team, um, Alex Parker, who is at the Southwest Research Institute in Boulder. So wide range of people. Um, our work was focused on developing handheld tools for future astronaut use, as well as driving optical constants for planetary relevant materials. And I was able to work with an incredible number of incredible scientists on a range of projects and targets, and that got me to the position that I'm in now. And um, I'll be forever grateful to all of my mentors, colleagues, fellow students and postdocs, and I'm sure I'll be learning from them for the rest of my life. So I think my advice would be to, to talk to everyone. <laughs> Um, it can be intimidating and daunting, um, but take every opportunity to learn. Um, there's so much information out there and you never know what skills will come in handy. And always take the opportunity to teach or help someone who is interested or asks. And um, for me, feel free to contact me via email or social media. Um, I'm always happy to answer questions or help where, wherever I can. Marcella, it has been such a pleasure to catch up with you and speak with you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me on your on your channel and thank you so much for doing this outreach. It really is a great program.